guys with basically a talk through. This is something a little bit different that I'm going to be doing. Um, as you guys know, I plastered all over my social media that I was going to be doing two wig series. One kind of for beginners, the hot glue gun method, and I did that and that is up. If you have not seen the beginner video, the hot glue gun method, you kind of got to watch that once I understand this one because I'm kind of starting where I left off there. Because everything else is the same, the way, the pattern, the shape of the tracks, how you shape the tracks, how you lay the tracks, all of that is in the beginner video. This is Big Booty Judy, okay? The reason why this is Big Booty Judy is because this is only three bundles of hair and when I tell you she is glorious and victorious, honey, the body in this hair is awesome. This hair is from SVT Hair. This is their Indian body weight, 18 inches. 20 inches, 22 inches, and then I have an 18 inch frontal. Indian hair is always so flippin' soft. The way that I sewed the frontal on for this wig is the exact same way I sewed it for the frontal on the hot glue gun method wig, okay? So you got to make sure, you feel me? You gotta make sure that you look at it. All of that is the same. These are the things that I wanted to touch on for this particular video. Plucking is going to be one of the biggest assets of the unit. You want to part and then pluck a little bit behind that part. Part, and these are really thin parts. Pluck a little bit behind that part, et cetera, et cetera. And it will thin this part out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to deceive you. Plucking is going to be your least favorite part of this process because it takes so long. Just plop you on a movie, you know, get you a glass of wine, whatever you do, you know, because it's just like, it's like the never ending story. Because what will happen is you'll be plucking, 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 and you just know, you just bang it out the park. You've been plucking for like 15 minutes straight, just straight plucking. And you look at it and you're like, this don't even hardly look like I plucked it up. So you gotta have a little attitude. And you gotta pluck some more and you pluck, 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 pluck another 10 minutes. And you like, now you know daggone well I pluck more than this. That's just how that process is, okay? So just pluck until you pluck and then comb back until it starts to look like your realistic hairline. It's just no way around that unless you're just gonna do a half job, which, hey, honey, do you? That's what you wanna do, okay? Now, plucking is going to take your edges from this to this. And you can really see the difference. This frontal did not, to me, it did not seem like it was pre-plucked at all, honey. Like, I had to start from ground zero. But as you can see when you do that, you like lighten that load a little bit. It really does make a difference. You'll be thankful afterwards that you did it. So I don't want to discourage you from doing it. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just being honest with you. It's boring, okay? It does make a difference, okay? It really, really does make a difference. You know, we are here changing lives in this wig game. We don't want to be like, girl, where you get your wig? You don't want that. You want, girl, how you, you, you miracle girl? Now, I know you said you was using do girl a while ago. Now, did, did that plop it out like that? Oh, that's a wig? Girl! You see, that's what you want to have. Okay, my cat just opened the door. I just don't want her to get the, you know how cats, like when they get the little fur ball and stuff and they get the, uh, uh, with that little asthma, you know the little cat asthma. Now, this is the next big thing, which is actually first, because it's the very first thing that you do. As you can see here, I have lined out on my cap where the tops of my ears are with a white liner. So the reason why you do that is when you put it on the wig head, you know where you want your frontal to lie. So what you'll do is you'll take the end, the two ends of the frontal, you're holding the frontal like this, you put it across on the wig head and you line up the edges. It may not be end to end that ends here. Like I still have like this much on each side that um, for me would have been cut off. Pin that sucker in place, bam, 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 
Then you just sew straight across. Bam, that's done. That's like the easiest part, believe it or not. It sounds complicated, but it's really, really not. So that's something that is very, very important. Another thing is this, always start from the bottom and start with your longest bundle. Your longest to the shortest bundle. So those things are really important. And I just have this kind of pinned up on the side because I just have a little side swipe pin up type of thing or whatnot. Um, but this is so beautiful, you guys. The hair is absolutely gorgeous. I could just run my fingers through it. The shedding is very minimal because I used the flip over method and two, until I got to like the top two layers, if you will, the top two tracks, then I kind of singled them out. But for the most part, I did the flip over method. This is virgin hair, very soft. I'm really excited to give this, this unit away. I know she's going to love it. So um, as far as the application process, I have tons of videos on how to apply this. And as you can see, again, I'm really wanting you guys to focus on that plucking. It's not gonna get like that after 10 minutes. I'm just telling you because nobody told me, nobody told me that the road wouldn't be easy. Okay, nobody. I just knew I was gonna pluck for a whole 10 minutes tops now, tops about this piece, okay? I was tops and like a mug. And there's some people that can snatch it even better than this, honey. Like, I think this is, I, I think this is really, really pretty. Like, this is a nice, mild hairline, okay? Because you don't want to snatch it bald now. Like, we don't want to do that. It's about balance in life, you know? Light, dark, left, right, up, down. Circle square, you know, lame me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's about balance. Those are the things that I really, 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 really wanted to touch on. The regular pattern, the pattern that I laid this in is the pa same pattern that I use in the hot glue gun method. Again, I cannot stress that enough, you guys. Another thing that you can do is bleach the knots. In my prior video, I used the concealer method. So if you don't want to go through all that hassle of bleaching the knots, um, but you kind of want to make those little knots disappear. Um, but the better you pluck and the better the frontal is, the least that you have to do with it. So I didn't bleach this at all. And the frontal looks great, you guys. The frontal looks really, really good. So if this were me, I probably would just use the concealer method. Either way, honey. But yeah, that front was a good front. This is a 22-inch wig. And it's going to Miss Tierra just for being such a dope supporter of Mary Kay. Bella is coming to you, girl. If you guys have any questions, let me know. There's still a giveaway going on. If you have not seen my giveaway video, check that out. I'm giving away like, it's going to be like seven winners. If you have any questions, let me know. And in the meantime, I wish you all peace love and light. Bye.